Okay guys, something really important to mention, these custom bounding volumes and arrangement points that I've created for these DAS models are only compatible in Marvelous Designer 6. I probably should have created this in an earlier version, uh, so unfortunately if you don't have Marvelous Designer 6, you're not going to be able to use these arrangement points and bounding volumes. Uh, but if you do have access to that, uh, then you'll be able to utilize this and you'll be able to use it with future versions of Marvelous Designer as well. So I thought I'll just let you guys know that uh, before the tutorial actually starts. All right. Hi guys, so before we get started, just check the description of this video and you'll find a download link uh, to some custom bounding volumes and arrangement points that I've created for the DAS, Genesis 3 female and male. So you guys can go ahead and download that and use this with Marvelous Designer. It's going to save you a bunch of clicks and then the rest of this uh, video is basically going to show you how to use these arrangement points, how to set them up and then how to even create your own custom arrangement points for your own characters. All right, so let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm actually going to go back to basics, but when you start Marvelous Designer, you'll see a window that comes up with these avatars that you can select. Uh, it's the pre-made avatars that come with Marvelous Designer. So I'm actually going to load one of those now. I'll go to Avatar, Avatar Editor, and these are usually the characters you'll see. So I'm just going to load this female. Alright, so just let that load. And then, uh, like I said, I'm just going to go back to basics. Maybe there's some uh, new Marvelous Designer users that are watching this tutorial and they're not really familiar with the term uh, bounding volumes and arrangement points. Uh, so I'm actually going to activate that. Uh, this is how you activate that, by the way. You go to this section and here's your arrangement points and here's your bounding volumes. Uh, so basically, you'll see that it places all of these points on the avatar and... Uh, basically, when you create a garment in here, you can reference these points and it's going to save you just a couple of clicks because instead of having to move your gizmo around and rotate that garment into that particular position, you can just create a garment and click on one of those points and it will uh, automatically drag the garment to that location. So it can really come in handy and it can speed up your workflow. Now, the thing is, the pre-built avatars uh, have these arrangement points and bounding volumes already created for them. But when you usually import something custom, actually whenever you import something custom, uh, they won't have that uh, created for them. Now some people, uh, they'll usually just use these standard arrangement points and bounding volumes for the custom character, but uh, unless your character is in this exact same pose, it's not really going to come in handy. So that's why I decided that I'm going to create a custom arrangement points and bounding volumes for the standard DAS uh, 3D uh, male and female characters and the reason why I did that is because a lot of the custom characters I have in DAS are also based off uh, those Genesis 3 models so uh, it's very versatile and comes in handy in the long run. So I'm actually going to get rid of this avatar so I'll go to delete avatars and I'll say uh, file new and I'm going to be showing you guys so I'm, I'm going to be doing this from scratch I'm going to import a DAS female into, into Marvelous Designer. So this is the Genesis 3 female. So I'll load there as an avatar. Obviously over here the scale you want to import it according to whatever scale you usually work at. I just usually click on auto scale. So I'll let that OBJ load in and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, right? This is a custom model and uh, you can see now uh, this is the bounding volumes and the arrangement points from the default Marvelous Design Avatar. Now we can't really use this, right? Because it's not in that exact same position. So, uh, just check the, the, the description of this video. You'll see I've provided a link to the custom arrangement points and bounding volume. So, to import that into DAS, what you want to do is go to Avatar, Avatar Editor, and then you go to Arrangement, and then over here you'll see we've got the bounding volume and the point. And we just want to click on Open. And uh, this is where you want to drag the these files, the pen and the ARR files. So you want to go to your public documents, look for the Marvelous Designer folder, go into Assets, go to Avatar and then Arrangement and drag these custom files that I've created for you. Just drag it into that folder uh, because when you click on the Open, when you click Open over here, it's going to go to that Arrangement folder. Anyway, here's the Genesis 3 uh, bound in volume I created. So I'll click Open. Now you can see it goes to that exact same position and then I want to make sure that I load the I want to load the, the points, the arrangement points as well. 
there we go and now you can see that if I just hide the bounding volume we've got all these points and I tried to position them as accurate as possible on these on these models now it's not 100% perfect uh, but it's still in uh, it's in those locations where you'll probably want your garment to be anyway so it's just going to save you a little bit of time now I've done the same for the male so you'll just load in the male bounding volume and the male point and then I'm going to be showing you uh, like I described earlier, how these bounding volumes can actually save you a little bit of time. All right, so let's move on. Okay, guys, so let me demonstrate how these arrangement points can actually save you a little bit of time. Okay, so I'm just going to have the arrangement points visible. And we'll just create a random garment over here. So I'll just create a square, a rectangle, and uh, Control c Control v to duplicate that. Uh, now with older versions of Marvelous Design, you'll have to click on Sync. There's a button over here that will sync the pattern over to this view. Uh, but Marvelous Designer 6 just automatically places it here. Now, uh, if we wanted this in a particular position, we'd have to do this manually. So I'd click on this, a gizmo pops up, and I'd have to go ahead, rotate this. Um, now for some people, this might be quicker for them, right? But like I said, I'm trying to save us a bunch of clicks. So now you'll see I'll have to get that into position, rotate it come here do the exact same thing rotate that blah 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 blah, and that's I just find this to be cumbersome so what I'm gonna do here is with the arrangement points I'll select that garment and I'll reference a point so like I said as soon as we click on a point it places it in that location so I can do the same thing with this reference that point and like I said it's not 100% per uh, perfect but that did save us a bunch of clicks right because we just had to reference a point and it placed it there. Now I can come over here and rotate this a little bit until I'm happy. And then you'll see that if I go ahead and sew this, so I'll just sew that and that. Now if I click on simulate, bam, it simulated the garment in that particular location. Now I can see that uh, this isn't uh, regarded to the actual placement of that garment. It's because this garment's actually a little bit uh, thin, so I'm just going to make this a little bit thicker here. Uh, holding down control, just so I drag that out, get whatever, and then I can re-simulate that. And as you can see, we got it into that position uh, fairly quickly, saved us a little bit of time and a little bit of clicks uh, because it just placed it uh, exactly where we wanted it. So now I can do the same. Let's actually make this a little bit shorter. Hmm, I can see that that is not the same size. So I'll just make this a little bit shorter here. Probably want to do that from the front. Can just re-simulate that. Now, let's create like maybe a sleeve here in the front. So I'll create, I'll create a square. Control C, Control V. Create another square and then again, I want to bring up the bounding volumes. Our squares are here in this view. And I just go and reference those points. So again, that's literally one click, guys. And then place it in that location. And with the garment over here, the cool thing is I can right click, reset 3D arrangement. And yeah, it's still going to be in that location, uh, exactly where we wanted it. And now, let's see. Probably want to make this a little bit thicker. Now let's sew this together. And then you want to sew this and this. And this and this. So now again, if we simulate. Okay, that's going a little bit crazy. <laughs> uh, but you guys get the point. All right, there we go. We've got a little bit of a sleeve. Uh, it's like really thick. But uh, this isn't a tutorial on creating garments. It's just to show you how uh, these arrangement points can just save you a little bit of time and a little bit, uh, you know, you won't have to rotate and place it in that particular position. You just go and reference the points and choose where you want uh, that particular garment to be. You sew it, you wrap it, wrap it around there. And yeah, it's just to increase our overall uh, workflow speed. So in the next part, I'm going to be showing you how we can actually create our own custom uh, arrangement points for a custom character. All right, so let's move on. 
Alright guys, so in order to create these custom bounding volumes and arrangement points for a custom character, so let's say you've sculpted something in ZBrush, or anything for that matter, you've 3D scanned a human, uh, it is going to require a little bit of manual work, uh, but I'll, I'll show you how to do everything completely from scratch. So I'm going to just import a, a custom character into Marvelous Designer, so I've got custom over here, and this is normal base male VR. So I'll just import that now. Obviously you want to pay attention to the scale here according to what you exported it out of your program as but uh, I'm just going to click on auto scale. Right so here's my custom character and you'll notice again we have no range on points and no bounding volume so I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this from scratch. So in order to do that you want to go to avatar and avatar editor and arrangement. Uh, now before you know that we usually just go and open up uh, something that uh, we could reference and then uh, basically rotate those bounding volumes uh, to suit the particular shape uh, but I find that it's a lot better to do this completely from scratch so we've got our bounding volume over here and our point on on the right hand side so what we want to do is we want to go to this plus icon to create a bounding volume first uh, because uh, arrangement points are attached to bounding volumes so you can see over there as soon as I clicked on plus I created this bounding volume at the bottom uh, but you can see that the scale is really off so in order to customize this, I'm first going to change the name and I'm going to call this, let's say, Torso. So in order to change the size of this, we want to basically adjust the radius, the X and Y radius. So I'm going to say 250 and 250 and you can see over there it's changed the size of our bounding volume. And the bounding volume is also go going to give you an indication of how the garment wraps around. So you can see this is a cylindrical shape. So your garment's going to wrap around cylindrically. And uh, yeah, this is basically what you want to do. Move it into position. If the scale is still not correct, then you just go ahead and adjust those, uh, adjust, adjust these values. And you can see I'm just using the gizmo to move it into position. And then to add points to our bounding volume, here on the right, again, we just go to the plus icon. So you can see it says arrangement point, but we don't see anything showing up and that's because we need to specify what it needs to be attached to. So we're going to assign this to the torso. As soon as I click on that, you can see we've got an arrangement point placed over there. And then I can just uh, determine where this arrangement point needs to be by adjusting the X and Y value. So I'll just put this on 50 and then um, I can also just go ahead and name this something. So maybe we'll say chest and move it up and then this off, uh, the offset feature is going to determine how far um, this point is going to be so if it's closer to the body or if it's further out so you can play around with that as well and then to add more arrangement points all we have to do is click on plus assign it to the torso with this bounding volume that we created and then just adjust the x and y values so you'll see I'm actually going to move this one to the back so just put that on zero and then now uh, once you guys have created these bounding volumes and you're happy with it you can just go ahead save this out uh, so that you have your own custom bounding volumes and arrangement points for your character so you'll see as soon as I close this and just hide the bounding volume we've got our arrangement points so if I create any garment here any shape I can click on the shape and reference that so that's how you go ahead and create your own custom bounding volumes guys and yeah it really is that simple and I hope you guys have learned something useful for this um, I probably should have made those custom DAS uh, bounding volumes and arrangement points in an earlier version of Marvelous Designer because it's actually not compatible with earlier versions unfortunately so you'll be able to use those custom bounding volumes and arrangement points from Marvelous Designer 6 and onwards so yeah, I hope you guys have learned something useful from this and uh, good luck with creating garments in Marvelous Designer and as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for some more tutorials. Alright, goodbye.